Hey guys, thought I'd do a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the Banana Pi B Pi M1 Plus and the B Pi M2. So uh, you can see that the boxes are very similar. There's nothing else uh, written on the box besides that, so we can move those aside. Let's just have a look at these two very similar but very different boards. So on the left here we have the M1 Plus, on the right we have the M2. Now the first thing to notice is the difference in chip. The main chip on the M1 Plus is the A20, all winner A20, which is a dual core 1 gigahertz chip. On the right we see a faster A31S, which is a quad core 1 gigahertz. So obviously you're getting a, a speed bump when you choose the M2 over the M1, but there's some differences that, other than that that might have you choosing one or the other. The first thing to note is the power supply. Now I've noticed in a couple of forums that this has been discussed as the M2, while faster, has a 5 volt in that's a little bit more difficult to source than these micro USB ones. You can see it here. It's, it's kind of a rod push version. Uh, so that means you're going to have to find a power adapter that's going to work. Uh, I'll have a look for you on Amazon and post that link on screen uh, now and in the about section if you need one of those. So that means that this board uh, is, is less compatible with the world uh, than this one. This one I already have a charger that already works, so it's just kind of uh, plug and play. There's some other differences between the two boards too. You'll notice that this one has a SATA. The M1 Plus has the SATA, so you can plug in an external hard drive, whereas the M2 does not. The other big difference is here. This is a this is a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, whereas this is a 3.5 millimeter audio and visual jack. So you can connect. Uh, a three-prong device that would allow you to connect your yellow cable for TV, analog TV signals. And the differences don't end there. The M2 also has two USB 2 stacks for a total of four USB 2 connections, whereas the M1 Plus only has two USBs. Aside from that, we're going to start talking about a lot of the similarities here. In terms of similarities, both have HDMI connectors, both have one gigabit Ethernet ports, both include mics, uh, the mic on this one's here, the mic on this one's there. Uh, they both have 40 pin connectors for the GPIO, both have camera and video viewable pinches. Uh, one tiny difference uh, here is that uh, this has a power button and a reset button, where this has a power and reset button. Not a big difference there. Uh, on the back side, you'll notice that both operate using micro SDs and both have Wi-Fi modules. So really, what is the difference between these two? Well, a little bit of computing power. Uh, I say a little bit, uh, almost twice the computing power. Uh, this is a quad core. This is just a dual core. Uh, it, losing the SATA and this, uh, this different type of connector for the power. But besides that, uh, both are very similar in that they both uh, run micro SD. The operating system should be interchangeable between them both since they're both ARM processors, V7 Cortex. So again, uh, and with their one gigabyte of RAM each, they're very capable computers in their own right. Again, I particularly love these Banana Pies because of these gigabit Ethernet connectors, uh, but you know, I can understand that uh, some people might buy them not because of that, but because of the Wi-Fi modules on them. Both of them, of course, have these UARTs uh, if you want to do any debugging or anything, if you want to embed these devices. And they both have uh, little tiny boot buttons in there as well. I'm really looking forward to getting these up and running. If you have any questions or anything you want me to check out on either of the boards, of course, I'm happy to do it. Don't forget to check out my individual reviews. I have a review for the uh, an unboxing for the M1 Plus, and I have one for the M2 as well. Both are uh, pretty interesting. Both reveal a little bit of detail about these boards. You know, I, I am a fan of these uh, Banana Pies uh, as an upgrade over the Raspberry Pis. But the Raspberry Pis are great, don't get me wrong, but these Banana Pies uh, 
just even having these gigabits and the built-in Wi-Fi, I mean, it just adds a little bit of a little bit of oomph there. Uh, onboard microphones again are, are useful if you're going to do an application that includes like includes something like that. And of course, the LVDS monitor display, which is unique at the moment to Banana Pie. They've certainly beat Raspberry Pi to the punch on that one. So uh, some pretty capable little boards here. Definitely worth checking them out. Uh, seeing how expensive they are in your area. You can see that these two uh, won't be compatible with the same sort of uh, case because of that USB mount and where exactly it is. And of course the SATA, so the mounts are a little bit different. Again, you know, you really do need to think of these as two different models that do different things. Well, thanks again for watching. If you found this video particularly useful, you can of course buy me a coffee in the about section below. If you have any questions, don't forget to post them in the comments section. It's always helpful when we create little communities around these and you guys uh, are able to ask questions and help each other out. Check out my other Banana Pi videos or Raspberry Pi videos as they're very much intercompatible. Uh, lots of cool projects I'm up to with these things. Uh, lots of fun things that you can do with small Linux-based devices like these. Great little devices. I think they're really cool. Don't forget to check back soon as I do a head-to-head -head comparison of them running. Thanks.